get our fair share. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. I thank all the other cities that are following along with this demonstration, these protests that the media wants us called and organized, not knowing what you're doing, but you're doing what's right. There's too many things for me to list for our future generation, our children, ourselves, and our elderly when we get there. Right now, seniors are forced to go back to work with no type of saving and income. Social Security does not cut it. My concept is a state and federal Social Security program for those who do not have 401ks, who do not have stock, and do not have options that these people get in these big corporations. Secure savings is what America needs along with guaranteed health care and education for every U.S. citizen in this country. This is an economic boom to redevelop our country. State-of-the-art clinic, high-speed race system that can produce power and put it back into your pocket instead of APS or SRP getting it for, like the gentleman said, $35 bill, $65 service fee, $35 maintenance. You don't go to the gas station and pay $3 and say, oh, by the way, you got to pay for the gasoline for the pump. That's crazy. We need to start securing our children's future and our jobs now. So you guys can have a 30-year work commitment, retire at a young age, and have secure savings. Your land needs to be in the form of a treasury note guaranteed in 30 years. It doubles its value in price by the state, by the federal government, not by the banking industry. I have two minutes to talk, and we got two minutes. My name is St. Augustine Longoria Morales, and I am not asking no funds from corporations. I'm asking 300 million Americans, 50 million seniors, and those next generations of children that know education and health care is beyond their reach to wake up and follow this proposal. If you want to know more, somebody would tell you my name again. Thank you, God bless you. Keep moving. Our greatest enemy. Apathy is our greatest enemy. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Educate yourselves. Educate yourselves. I go to university at Arizona State University. People are more apathetic there than they are anywhere else I've seen. Make your voices heard. Make your voices heard. Educate yourself. Thank you. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. I'm here. I'm here to say to say that I agree that the libraries where should we should occupy the library where we should occupy the park. I think that we should march to the march to the Arizona State Fair. I think we should march to the Arizona State Fair. That's where most people are right now. I agree. Occupy the But march to where the people are during the day. Thank you. I'm a little shy, but I wrote this poem over the summer, and I think this is the best time to tell it. So it's up. Repeat after me. Oh, oh. This country is no longer bound to its own. Go down. Stand up for your right. Behind the curtain works an evil man-made creation. People are zombies. Here comes the uprise of dictation. Enough of me. There aren't enough of me. Who harbor this frustration? Who harbor this frustration? How can they not feel the asphyxiation? How can they not feel the asphyxiation? I'm pulling out of this crazy civilization. I'm pulling out of this crazy civilization. Immunizations? Immunizations. No imaginations? No imaginations. Lack of exploration? Lack of exploration. What the hell happened? What the hell happened to this once great nation? To this once great nation. Eisenhower left with a message. Eisenhower left with a message. Beware of leaving the powerful in private isolation. Beware of leaving the powerful in private isolation. Or what will become? What will become? Will be an ugly transformation. 
will become an ugly transformation. But today his words are just a one man speculation. Cameras and monitors are our main installation. Media is paid to produce stories of manipulation. People too blind to sway from new propagation. Welcome to the land of the United Illumination. Are we going to fucking let this happen? No! it's time for a proper introduction. Last year, I decided I was fed up with this and decided to step up to the plate and run for state treasurer because I found out our previous state treasurer, Dean Martin, was using our state's money to buy up foreclosed homes and start a real estate company with it. He did that for eight years. Now this year is different because I have all of you to help me. And every single one of you. If I officially announce today on these steps...